Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers and subscribers at the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. That is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives on this channel. We at this channel aid criminals, their financiers, their supporters, enablers and the likes with a passion and we do not want them over here. Yes, let us repeat ourselves. We do not want any criminal supporters over here. Please, we do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you over here we want you the criminal supporters enablers financiers and all the likes to go to prison or madness let's me repeat myself we are the jamaica young police channel we do not want the criminal supporters and their circle over here we want you to go to prison or modern moving on to our video yeah, so we have come to the end of part three of three, you know, of the series. I will tell you about the five, the seven bodies. You know, it's a name brand police work. Dry fear in the heart of criminals. They want make criminals. They want all, you know, man, you're all Tom Levine, they man, man, you're police, they man, man, sile up themselves. I saw it used to go on them thing, but no, you know, if Jamaica detectives like Tom Levine, Trinity, Isaiah, and Tony, Bobby Reds, Dadrick, and in every police division, Godman would have, you know, have run scared. But guess what? The powers that be dismantled it. Guide start by a guy named Peter Phillips. You can search the internet and search the name brand police. Um, you know, I, I had written an article about it, and yeah, yeah, you know, that was from when I, uh, men be uh, you know, a guy um, wanna be Rasta, I'm a fit trim. <laughs> a guy named Mike back with a you know, carousing, you know, men be and then. Ego, him ego is like tall like a tree, um, dummy. Um, so you watch, you listen, and you decide. Um, this is part three of three. Uh, hope you enjoy the series. As you know, what we said before, anytime like, you know, if you tune into on um, the Patreon, you will get some content that you won't get here. I will never post them to YouTube for various reasons. So if you want to educate yourself about what is happening in Jamaica, then that's where you go. So have yourself a nice. And beautiful day so you watch you listen and you decide i just saw it go so the money contribute not only to law enforcement but him contribute to the the genre of reggae music and dance all in a jamaica isaiah link so the man that do them part when they come out to jamaica so number two now you have keith trinity gardner yeah man keith trinity gardner was a soft spoken yeah man if Trin when trinity attack you have <laughs> You have to put your ears back. You have to put your ears back and cock for your ear. You understand? In that way, when the man in the police and them things, Trinity could have got 20 man, him alone. 20 man put them on and drape up on the man and walk. Guy police station. Police can't do that now. Although we used to do that to you now with our own spear, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, we, you know, we kind of copy all the man, the style to all them things. Yeah. And them, the man they used to do that. People don't see them things now, you know. Well, yeah, man, one police, 20 man. And man, yeah, and man put him on, yeah, man put him right on and drape the next man when I thought about hold him, you know. You drape him and put him on for him head, so you drape the man and you have to put your hand on your head. And the 20 hours of work guy station, I saw the man used to do it and them thing, yeah, the man Trinity, I saw the man do it. Yeah, well, yeah, I saw, hey, trust me, I be everything I go on right now in Jamaica when they talk about crime fighting and criminals and bad. Cause you can't have you can't have name brand criminal. When we say name brand criminal, you can't have notorious criminal. And you know no name brand police out there for deal with them. You have to have fight fire with fire. So what them are doing all them things there. I see them politicians them, you know, them know say detective them effective. So that's why them keep me can't believe detective have to stay in the office. But I'm no sir, well, hey, me glad say me left all them things. Cause if I was there all them things there, you know I could have cope as a detective because as a detective, me know that I'm supposed to be on the road and I'm supposed to work. I forget the people them feel safe. And criminals must live in a fear of losing their lives and not the law-abiding citizens. 
But I saw them do it now. So moving on with Trinity now. You understand? So yeah, so Trinity now, the man there, uh, my legend from his fearless confrontation with dangerous criminals. Known for his operations against the Aztec gang. Enough people, not hungry people from out of East Kingston know that. As Trinity, this man can send them my departure along. Them, and he may get all shut up there to you know, for war kind. I remember all one time and them thing now. Now we family, yeah, we don't call them name and them thing. Because we don't want people out of war kind know them. You understand? And we're there. Yeah, man, because when we're there, you know, up there and them thing there. Well, let's remember, you have some people who uh, live, them, them raise all sheep. Them, yeah, man, up a war kind. Them have sheep and all them thing there. And goat in them pen. Pure rock stone up there and them thing there. And a little tree tree and them thing there. And, you have a part up on the hill and them things have a whole heap of tree, but I put your rock stone in up our rock hill. But I tell you, and remember one day and them things now in Trinity, Trinity and well, nine police, you know, but him there front, you know. Yeah, it was the M16 and, and the other police, them and then soldier and them things. I walk them and walk in a patrol up there, you know, and they say, I'm named Trinity, you know. But we didn't know him before and them things, you understand? I saw them, you know, and the other police, them. And then you say, oh, you know, but uh, him was, was the known man and them thing. Eh? Yeah, man, the man soldier. Back then, them time they soldier, them used to just wear green, straight green. Now, you know, camouflage. I just green and thing, and them have them helmet and, you know, I just saw it go. Yeah, so, he mush up the hot step again. Yeah, man, Trinity mush up the hot step again. Trinity name becomes synonymous with justice. His career marked by a numerous shootout and unwavering dedication made him revere, a revere figures. So, you know, Trinity was shot about four times, yeah. Despite his personal controversy, controversies including a high profile trial for the murder of his wife, Trinity remained a symbol of fearlessness and commitment to law enforcement. Keith Trinity Gardner, Trinity was one of the detectives whose TV name was like the era for the people of East Kingston, Unsbury Police area, Jonestown, and other parts of the country. Hey, Trinity, I'll come in at Jonestown for Starkin and them. I don't even buy a car, and the people them burn up the car, you know. I tell you, you know. Yeah, man, hey, the man, I don't know how he man stock here, but hey, Trinity never stopped till he get to kill him, though. I tell you, Trinity didn't eat stock, you man. And stock, he could have shoot good, you know. But Trinity, what? Trinity alone in a Jonestown, and the man, them burn up the car, the people, them. I tell you, man, all corals, man, and me did all vex, you know, when them burn up the man car, you know, but police did come on, you know. I help him and them thing and treat Starkey to get to him and the other man them. But at the Trinity, I look, I tell you, you man a beat shot in man. I tell you, and them say, hey, you're the great Trinity that you know. And by the time the man come back out and yeah, the man, all people all dirty nigga them man. How you mean? Burn up the man, the, the car, the car them they said for one. Jackie brother or something like that. I don't remember all kind of care right now, believe you me. I just attack from memory. You understand? So, Trinity wasn't your average detective. A low soft spoken but dangerous man who heals from one of the one of the GLP communities of Rima and is an alma mater of Kingston College. Trinity was involved in many shootings and was shot about three times. For a man of his, his stature, he was unafraid and fearless, relentless in pursuing criminals and killers. One of the most successful killing um cleaning cleaning cleansings of criminal killers and and gunmen was the Atstepper gang from East Kingston. They were based in Warwick Hill. Trinity would pursue them day and night because of a deep seated agent for criminals. Hey, they need freedom him out there, you know, man. I say your yeah, brother say and him thing there. He was bad man, you know, he must say. Ouch, the man say Trinity, you know, hey, may I tell you, you know, criminal easy, you know, the man say, you know. Um, he may not get trouble and a part time gang, you know, and say, um, in a nanny villain and the man are running up. Uh. Yeah, and Trinity tell him, say, hey, my gunshot go around corner, you know. And he said, by the time Trinity said that in the air, blow, you know. Him you know how the shot go through the wall and kill the man. Uh, that changed all for him life, you know. Him turned it, he did want to do that, him turned it himself. He did the channel to one of them there. Yeah, tell you, the man said, Trinity said, oh, my gunshot go around corner too, you know. And blow, and the man just dropped dead. He must say, oh, how oh, the shot go through the wall and them thing there. We also walk a, a part of the house and not like a fence. Like, you know, a fence of a certain length, but the wall. So, the man, I said, you know, all the shot go through, the, all the shot go around the corner and kill the man. 
And from the same man, he may be afraid of Trinity more. Because Trinity himself, theme shot can go around corner. And that was the example. And it, they all over. All even time with that unspeared well, as in the 90s and Trinity, um, hey, Trinity, them time they used to up by the same place, which probably have um, acid. But Trinity have a different theme and them thing. Eh. He used to, hey, Trinity used to come now, unspeared police here, right? And you see, a boy I'll run, run from him, Trinity, they call him picture, you know. So they, <laughs> Trinity, they call him, take them picture, you know, man. I tell him, they're more living, man. Hey, man, man, I tell them, man, they are something else, man. They yeah, want keep Trinity guy, soft spoken. Very respectful man. You never me never hear him cuss up. Me never hear him use any profanity yet. Never. Yeah, and me never hear him me never hear him talk to no boy. And I call them no boy or you know, disrespect them and them thing. Very respectful man. Yeah man, I tell you that. You know no as police and you know out on the street with corrosion them, but no, me never hear him use any profanity and me never hear him degrade no criminal. Him come like a police and him newbie. Very respectful, I saw him call them man. That's why a criminal have that amount of respect for him because it's how he communicates with them. Um, you know, although you know them are corrals and them things, but you see, once you show people respect, them I show you back in return. And that's that's how he's gone a respect from the same criminals. Them. That's why them respect them respect him, fear him, and hate him. You, you understand? So in 1989, Trinity was arrested and charged with the murder of his wife, Princess. Who was a corros than a corobunkers? Yeah, man. I don't know how he married to a corros. Because you can't, I don't know, as police, you can't. My mother always said, say, <laughs> where you come from, you know, for go back there, them thing. Between me and you, I have never spoken to a woman from Jonestone or, or Jungle. He had. You understand? Uh, when I go on them thing, when I say, I'm not disrespect on them thing. One girl alone, I mean, in the entire world, a prettiest girl. One girl in name, Nadine. She a Winston sister and them thing there. Yeah. You understand? She not an Indian, but when you have a girl in an Indian and she prettier than every other girl in her community, from Johnson to Jungle, Nadine. Yeah, she could have gone in any modeling thing and them something. You yeah, understand? But me never mess with no woman no. from me left. Me never go back. Me never sleep at home there and them thing there. Yeah. So you go. Yeah, man. So, you, you know, see. So, yeah, so um, Trinity had to kill her. He had to kill his wife, Princess. Or she would have killed him. He was acquitted of all charges and based on information received and obtained, he had a disdain for Edward Siaga. Yeah, yeah. so Trinity, after the charge he murdered him, he ate Edward Siaga because he said Siaga never intervened in a matter and prevented the state from laying charge against him. Um, and he retired from the police force as an assistant or deputy commissioner of police. Something like, yeah. So that I, yeah, so number one now, yeah. number one man, man. Yeah, the original name brand detective and departure long specialist, Tom Levine, man. Yeah, man. Tom Levine, man. Bosey police. Bosey. Some people that say him show. Him not, when you say show off, guy, not show off, him just Bosey. And the man there, pristine. Yeah, man. Tom Levine. Topping the list is Tom Levine, the most feared and revered detective in the Ken Kinson metropolitan, uh, metropolitan area. No other police. But we said no other police, as a year we call all of the man in name. This is the man. But you would not you, you're not gonna hear that from nobody um, from no other no other platform. Cause them don't know them thing. Cause they weren't police and then the barn and go in at the garrison like we. We know this how we are youth. You understand? They were man, eh? we are telling you, as we said before, I we know say the human rights people them uh, them uh, you understand? That's why them have that's why the PMP them create the creating the human rights. Jamaican for justice, to prevent detective like Tom, Le uh, Tom Levine for rise up. Because them man, they, them time, they, look here, whenever I used to have born, uh, them never, Jamaica, them time, they, in a Siaga days and them things, Siaga never model nothing from America when they come out to law enforcement. Police shoot man, but them take care of front line duty. No, Siaga, when Siaga a prime minister, hey, a man, you could have involved all 10 fatal shooting for one week. And you just good, you just go and make your work out, you just go and work out. No, I PMP them come in with that, but guess what? They not change the law to make it like American. To make certain say, um, you know, police can use deadly force. Because the way how America law, when it comes to police, Jamaica could have at least 10,000 fatal shooting every year, easy. Because Jamaica have some of the most violent people them in a, on earth, in a, uh, especially in the Caribbean, we are telling that. Easy. We see all the taxi man. Body slam all the police in America, he may not get the whole of the clipping in him chest. 
police will fire one shot. You understand? You, you know, see it. So, as we tell you already, Tom, Tom Levine's reputation was built on his precision, bravery, and determination to rid criminals off the streets, known as the departure lung specialist. Then the man, the Levine career was highlighted by his ability to neutralize threats with unparalleled efficiency. Them the man innocent people got KPH. Not one. Then the man innocent people, the, the man in a care brown people envelope got a gun coat. Never see, even my detective, me never see the man in a gun coat. With no brown envelope. No, sir. Then the man in a head. <laughs> the man in a, in a exhibit thing. Yeah. So his present was so formidable that his very eye, his very name struck fear into the hearts of criminals. Even you hear a little 13 talks so when ta when him that prison a gun court and man attack about police a man mention Tom Levine. You hear him say a man sile himself. That's how fear the man named driving a heart a criminal. Me never hear that yet. Normally a man when him a guy him realize him a, him a guy the departure along him do that. But for a man in a prison and feel like say the man him a talk and a talk about bad police and who them afraid and them thing that Tom Levine and the man sile himself the man bowels just get weak and him can't control him just I saw I saw police drive fear in a criminal which other police could have do that the man said at them the man them no name name brand of name brand police so Tom Levine legacy as a street cop recovering over 200 illegal guns and eliminating numerous criminals remain unmatched to date, then tell them, you know, they say over 160 criminals this man have killed at Jamaica. I remember as a little boy, and more than once, then the man they have seven, eight funeral I go on a Maypen Cemetery. Ask anybody from Jonestown or a concrete jungle. We are tell you that, we are ask you. Tom Levine. Ask any police, lend them, any one of them. Any police or worker west, no guy. You understand? Then the man, hey, the man is a cut them tiny. At the dangerous time in you know, a man. And them hey, criminal is afraid of them the man there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that, yeah man. All for a son, seven different family that are people, man. Tom Levine, seven, eight, sometimes all nine. Yeah man. And good and look here. You say hey, you say how the man they bad as police or anything. You see when the man when them man they kill a certain bad man, the man they say you can't keep the nine night for them, you know. I saw the man they used to roll in a Tom Levine, you know. Yeah hey man, you can't keep no nine night fit. Oh, I saw the man they used to roll as police, you know. I tell you, oh, no guy, you can't no, you can't have no nine night or no, no nine night for them. When the man they kill certain man, and they wanna say no nine night, they mean no nine night. Yeah man, I saw the man they used to roll as police. I tell you man, but as a year, Joe Lickshot say. Uh, and you, you, you know, say, I see him pallet, I chew them, say, boy, hey. Because him and the man, they are rima, they tangle up, you know. He ate them, you know, man, he made the people, they are rima, because they kill him friend, him partner, and boy, him lit down seven of them, you know. You think, I think he take boy, any boy, if he, you know, shoot out with all 13, man, and he lick with seven. And then a boy, that's in a man. And and him live for till the tails. But yet still, and the man, he not reach no further than the pity soup. And Tom Levine wasn't a thief. The man is a criminal, but guess what now? The man is hey, the the all years I drive some name brand vehicle. He married to a rich man, you know. Because the man, they are pretty, the, hey, the man they was pretty boy too, you know. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, understand? Yeah, Tom Levine was a pretty boy too, all them things. Yeah. So, you know, Tom, yeah, man, the original name brand detective and departure long specialist, Levine. So, Detective Levine's name shines, br shines brightest when discussing the top law enforcement figures in Kingston's history. We're known as the, the original name brand detective and the departure long specialist. Levine was both feared by criminal and beloved by the communities he served. His precision, bravery and dedication made him a legend particularly in Jonestown and Concrete Jungle Kingston 12. A hero to the community. Growing up in Jonestown, I remember how mentioning Tom Levine Tom Levine's name would spark admiration and awe amongst residents. Residents, he was a spoke, he was spoken of as a superhero, a man whose presence brought safety and justice. You know them kind of detective again. Levine was known for a remarkable precision in handling crim handling criminal threats. 
often results in, in multiple funerals in a single day. As we tell you already, for a notorious criminals, his impact was so profound that I aspire to be like him, even as a child, as four. That's the impact what that man have for me, you know, man. I said, no, man, all the people them talk about that, the man. I said, I want to be a detective. Me never want to be nothing else. And you know, hey, I tell between me and you, I admire all the man. God, hey, although the man is a detective still, you know, the man is a boss, you know, like kind of bad man still, you know. Yeah, the man have them swag, you know, man. Tom Levine, you know. Yeah, man. And the man the shirt always stuck. And the man is pristine. Yeah, man. So the iconic enter encounter, one vivid memory stands out from my childhood. It was the first time I saw Tom Levine in person. He arrived in an unmarked car, dressed impeccably in a white shirt and tie with his 9mm pistol and extra clips neatly secured in a back po um, black pouch on him side. Yeah man, them time, you know? in time police have 9, you know? In know them days, you know, you know, if you ask, you know, them man, they are killer, you know, uh, detective, you know. Yeah, you see, look at soft, soft soap police, and them have snub nose or touchy you. Yeah. Bad police, if you see me, you know, say, I kill them. I saw you used to go, you know, name brand police, and them, yeah, man. So, at the time, now, the residents of 7 years Settimo Street, Jonestown, yeah, man, flocked the chain link fence to catch a glimpse of him, treating him like a celebrity. His confident demeanor and willingness to engage with the community only added to his larger than life persona. May I tell you, the first time that I saw a police, when you talk about celebrity, police was Tom Levine. Yeah, man. Women admire him and young boys like me idolize him, dreaming of walking his shoes one day. Relentless pursuit of justice is relentless pursuit of criminals characterized Levine's career. He held a particular hatred toward the people of Rima, a community responsible for the death of one of his partners in the 1970s. Despite being ambushed and forced to flee for his life, Levine managed to take down seven gunmen single-handedly that day. This incident was a testament to his unyielding spirit and tactical prowess. So when I talk about say, oh, this is money, oh, oh, but, oh, they're my baby, they're my money, they're police. You understand me? I tell you, an impress, Im impressive track record throughout his career, Tom Levine recovered more than 200 illegal guns. Them time the guns did a real thing, but people love him. So the man used to get the information and know which part of the boy they might commit them robbery. And when they commit them robbery, bingo, I saw the man that used to operate. Just like how, hey, hey, just like how in America, so all detectives operate. Them watch a boy and them thing, and I commit crime. And when they commit all the bank robbery, as they come out, boom. Yeah, yeah call them and watch them. I just saw it, I saw the man that used to operate. So he was directly, he was directly responsible for the death of at least 160 gunmen. A staggering number that speak to his effectiveness and dedication. Unlike many of his peers, Levine was a street cop who was not confined to an office but actively patrol and clean the streets. So during this height of his career, Levine's approach to law enforcement starkly contrasts with that of his contemporaries like SSP Adams was known for shaking down transit bus drivers. Levine sent gunmen to the departure lawn. Levine was not a political activist. His commitment was solely to justice and reducing crime in Kinsa metropolitan area. His efforts brought peace, safety and confidence to the citizen, including myself. So when a guy I talk about say, me a guy about, oh, number one police, uh, Renita Adams. I tell teach them, say, you don't know where you attack, say. Teach them, yeah, the channel I name teach them. You don't know where you attack, uh, you're not a police and you don't come from Jonestown. Renita Adams are not a bad police, where they are squad police. When I talk about bad police, he, at them are a bad police. Renita Adams ever involved in a shooting and all them things by himself. And, and kill all seven men. Them the man, you understand? When I talk about man, I kill name brand man like Starkey and them man. Bad police. When you tell them, scared and tell you about, about, about all the cop and all them man. Them man, I can tell you Trinity, because Trinity, the man I have an encounter with him. And Trinity, the Trinity, he shot him already. And when you talk about, when you tell them, kill, when you tell them, when you tell them, a political police. The man, you a police. Lenga police. As much as bigger for that, yeah, bigger for that. We know say my PMP boy, my police, and we know, yeah, we know same thief to one them thing. Yeah, that's why I go on them thing. I know him alone a thief. I told you who's in a thief to avenge, and them a bad police to. I mean, 
I just saw it go on them thing now. But the reason why we don't mention some other because they're a bigger thief to one them thing and them a robber. So we don't give credence to them and them thing now. Yeah. So the decline of fearless law enforcement. Fast forward to 2024. And the law enforcement landscape in Jamaica has dramatically changed. The ones we fear name brand detectives like Tom Levine are no more. Instead, the country is plagued by name brand crimp killers who operate with impunity. The crime rate has soared and the police force has become a shadow of its former self. The former PMP criminal organization government under the corrupt leadership of Commissioner Owen Ellington and when you could have bought blood, I don't care. Owen Ellington a criminal. I said that I said without no apologies. I know that for a fact. I don't care what I'm no guy and them things. I know I'm crim a criminal. I tell you that. Play a significant role in its decline. Ellington known for his disdain for detectives. Systematically remove them from the streets. Confine them to air-conditioned offices. These detectives, once known for their local knowledge and proactive policing, are now disconnected from the communities they serve. So that's why the people them now are in a cop in another place. They must say, Mr. Supporter, we don't know a detective them. And the uniform police, we can't tell them nothing because them are the same down there, see them out there, smoke ganja and I drink Guinness. How that? Detectives not do them thing there. So we have a broken system. So the current state of the police force is a testament to the government's failure. Young officers like those in the new CTAC police squad are losing their mental fortitude due to traumatic experience they face without proper support. The government has not reinstated the detectives to their rightful roles likely due to their entanglement in criminal activities so the real criminal in jamaica is politician you know. i tell you that you know both side of the aisles because anything where pmp dismantle me i tell you this anything where pmp dismantle and the jlp them not reinforce it them apartheid because them apartheid criminal uh, um criminal criminality in jamaica the pmp dismantle special branch the labor and bring it back so that's why i tell you you know i talk with an, a name brand police and them thing and i tell me straight up say him not seen a light at any tunnel. And I tell him the same thing too. As I say already, I say it again. A man I say, oh boy, I'm more lean to it. I don't lean nothing. I a Jamaican. The minus the only thing I see with the difference with the labor and the people is a little better. I never said it better. Little. You understand? It's just that them the outright to write the support criminals. When I talk about Bruce Golden, as we Mark Gold really want to march with murder around them thing there and support the killing of the Jamaican. That's why we say that one of them is just a little bit better. So I don't care what a guy wants to say. No guy never hear me over here, so I put my um, name Andrew Wallace on the pedestal. And if you listen for the channel for a long time, we never have him up there. Him no way, because we say that once behind him that tower. Him. We don't like politicians, so him can't say him no way. Anything what we are telling, we are talking facts. We don't, you understand what I'm saying? So we just say him just a little bit better. Than Mark Golden. We never say him better than a little. You understand? Only thing we have to give him credit for. Fiend government and one of the least corrupt. Yeah, the least corrupt government in Jamaica since 1989. And we say that without no apologies. We don't say it because we like him. And I like a, stats, a statistic. It is, it is there from the international um, organization when it comes down to corruption. I tell you. That we do a video about it. And it's on the channel. We don't care what of the people. We don't over here, so. And some people say, oh, why all this attack PMP? When I attack, we are telling you the truth. And them are a real problem in Jamaica. Them not support law enforcement. And them dismantle all the system them if we make it work. If Special Branch was still around, Jamaica would have, um, they would have uh, Mark, Coop Mark, Baby Trump, Golden, birth service ticket. We don't ask you, we are telling you. And that would have released already to the public. That's why them scrap it. That's why the PMP criminal organization scrap it and the GLP in a reinstate it because them themselves are criminal. Special brand Jews have a dusty up on all our politicians and them can't tell you who are thief, who are issue a gun and all of them things. Yeah. Them don't want that. So them want to, yeah. So you know, them kind of policy now, them mash it up. But that's weird, man. Because one of them, may I tell you, you know, politicians are got dead at Jamaica. I mean, I ask you, you know, may I tell you, remember last year, December. Well, the boy will come from cute will come from 80 but if you kill andrew wallace and i think i joke where i'm making it on you will play the thing tiliba mark golden and peter bunting responsible for that boy if you come to jamaica if you kill him and we i tell you yeah man blood are going run down that at the place whether or not you don't like it we are telling you as them have been cuddling with criminals 
them see one this man them are real estate special branch and them fees that hurt them or hurt the police Cause i see thing when them do with in the coming and them fees that hurt them and hurt the police and the police then start living a drove they never passed law for force the police and for stay in the police force after six months who want in a marriage where you, you you're not in love with you you fall out of love with um with with the purse where you married to. you know police force and everything you're supposed to just one day and say chop me no one for work no more but they must tell us six months no man that's kill them one for kill you anything that's why i encourage the police to leave all of the police will leave when me encourage to leave the jamaica and cancer before and migrate come to america them not for use nothing but the police leave and serve a ticket because i don't tell them already what them for right i mean i gotta tell you no you understand oh yeah um, you understand and it all have to do it Christopher do the squawk and that's why we get in the coma. So look at that deal, you understand? So uh so explain it down to all me and right? You understand what I'm saying? Me as me say, one is just a little bit better than the other. Whenever I say it's better, little. So we we'll continue the journey, yes. So the real criminals in Jamaica are often those with degrees, surfer tickets and PhDs. Not the struggling individuals from the ghettos. The legacy of detectives like Tom Levine highlights the urgent need to return to proactive, fearless policing. The current generation of law enforcement officers must be empowered and supported to reclaim the streets from criminal elements. Only then can Jamaica hope to restore the peace, safety and confidence at once prevail under the watchful eyes of legendary detectives like Tom Levine. That's why them come out because them no want them kind of police, they can PMP them in them, 80 minutes. No more time if you never used to take talk from politicians. In the other politics and all them things, they are police. You never hear them money mix up with no drug dealer, they money in a robbery or all kind of stuff. You never hear them money go to even a coke or a ganja or shake down the body. The man that they just bossy and they just have a good wife. You understand? In 2024, the legacy of these fearless detectives stands in, con in stark contrast to the current state of law enforcement in Jamaica. The absence of such dedicated officers had led to a surge in crime, with name brand killers now running amok. The departure of these legendary figures, combined with administrative changes and corruption within the police force, has resulted in a deteriorating law enforcement environment. Detectives are now confined to offices far removed from the street they once patrolled with unwavering courage. The decline in effective policing reminds us of these fearless detectives critical role in maintaining law and order. Their legacies underscore the need to return to proactive street level policing to combat, combat the rising tide of crime and restore confidence among the Jamaican citizens. So, you know, we just have a recap and tell you about the name brand police, them, the seven of them. And we start with number one, number seven, yeah, seven, yeah man, seven, Bobby Reds, yeah, Bobby Reds, is yeah, the seven most feared police in the Kingston metropolitan era from the 80s until the 2000s, you know, when he retired. Then, six, you have Dadrick Henry, yeah, Dadrick Henry left him mark on the street of the Kingston metropolitan area. And as we tell you again, um, yeah, Dadrick, yeah, man, one of Henry's most remark, memorable, and daring exploit involved the capture of notorious cop killer. We tell you, Al Capone. And the man, hey, Dadrick Henry, yeah man, just like a madman, go out with field town and, and take out Al Capone, yeah man, and he get a big magnum. The man, you know, he's a player. You understand? Cornwall, bigger food, whether you like him or not, yeah, bigger food come from Anatone, that's number five. So you have seven Bobby Reds, six um, Dadrick Henry, five bigger food, yeah, and then after after bigger food, then you have the great Tony with number four. Number three, Isaiah Leng. Number two, Keith Trinity Gardner. And number one is the man, yeah man, Tom Levine, the great Tom Levine. That the man that sent the most criminals to the departure lounge. And we have to give thanks to them service and we want to, you know, let them know so boy, we recognize the work that they have done on behalf of the Jamaican people by restoring faith and, you know, restore security to the streets of the Kingston metropolitan area. And yeah man, and we just want to big up all of these men, you know. Um, two of them, um, you know that um, Anthony Hewitt was killed, uh, you know, a few years ago. And then you have um, Dadrick Henry pass away January this year. Yeah, and 
and the others are alive. We just wish them long health. Um, Tom Levine, you know, 87, and him still walk and him still, and guess what? The man didn't have to drink for sleep or smoke, so you know, so the man the conscience clear. The man there wasn't a robber and all them things. So I just saw it go. So we give thanks to these police. Uh, when we had these kind of policing, Jamaica crime rate and the people of Jamaica were safe. You have to understand, as Jamaicans, in a Jamaica and the diaspora, the real criminals in Jamaica are your politicians. They are the ones who are the real criminals, not the people, not the boy them with a fire gun. The politicians, I remember this man named Owen Ellington. His nephew now is a commissioner of police, so you have to know the criminals in Jamaica. If police weren't that effective, they want to dismantle. They want to dismantle the CIB and you know give the criminals them a leg up and then they give you the income act. Yeah, so have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, young police channel out.